Thank you. Thanks. ledges and yeah they got the mani pad over here hey, you know, my boy in. Hey, Chris it, sweaty all right so what does street skateboarding mean to you because skateboarding is so common now yeah. it's just to me it's just like another self like form of self-expression you know not everything is mocked up around us like for us and that's like the whole challenge of it all. When you like perform like a, yourself at a skate park opposed to outside of the streets, like at a skate park, it's all made for you. On the streets, it's just even more challenging to even like, I don't know, achieve. Like to me, basically, like when I go out there, it's not like a challenge with anyone else around me. It's just a challenge. It's just a challenge to myself. So, and I'm just like a really simple individual originality is like something i believe in so street to street skating like i don't know just that's just how i would want to skate i wouldn't want to go a place that's made for me i want to i want to take something that wasn't made for me and make something of it that was perfect thanks max i tried my yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what does street skateboarding mean to you? Uh, street skateboarding for me is just simply, you know, taking every every element in the street and to skate it, whether it's cruising down the street on the sidewalks, on the roads, or hit up some light spots, you know, like whether it's on the side of a street or stairs that you skate by, or even like, you know, like we all do, like skate schoolyards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does it mean to you to skate Santa Monica Courthouse? Because a lot of people could be like, why aren't you at Stoner Park, you know? Because it's like um, five minutes from here, but you'd rather skate the courthouse. Um, what I personally like about the courthouse itself is that, for one, it's um, it's an OG spot, you know. Mm -hmm. Even though they turn it, even though back in the day, some people, I mean, there are a lot of debates about whether it's a legit spot now or not to film. Yeah. Even if you take that away, because back in the day, used, people considered a legit spot just because it didn't have like the, the metal edges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was more raw, uh, like more of a raw type of spot, you know. Yeah, I feel you. Um, I mean, they redid the whole spot. Now it's a part says it's really just a skate park, another part says yeah, it's still a spot. Yeah. Still, if you take that away, what I personally like about uh, a spot like West LA Courthouse, yeah. right here, yeah, compared to a skate park, is that um, for some reason it just feels more. Even though it's a skate park, it's made for skateboarding. Yeah. Being here feels more free, like the, you know, there's no gate around here. Even people that don't have anything to do with skating, yeah. walk by, bike by, whatsoever. Um, and just uh, the vibes around street spots when, for me personally, mm -hmm. it reminds me of back in the day when I used to live in Holland. Okay. Just meet up at a random street spot where all the homies get together and you have like grocery store there, another food place there, you know, yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Because you could say about skate parks as well, it's free because it's a skate park, yeah. no one kicks you out. Yeah. Here, I mean, here now it's free because no one kicks you out as well. Yeah. But I feel even more free because there are no fences around and it's, it it's just hard for skateboarding. I don't know about that. I know it wasn't meant for skateboarding. Yeah. Um, to me personally, I don't care too much about that. Yeah. Because you know, some people are like, it's only street because it wasn't meant for skateboarding. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. That is pretty much what makes skateboarding so beautiful that, you know, you take elements um, that no one even cares about, but we do because we see something different in it, you know? Yeah. So there could be some random, let's say there's a bench and let's say there 
they're fixing it up or there's a loose bench hanging off the curb for some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we say, oh damn, you can say like, you know, has a latch up yeah, or, yeah. And, it was, and other people will just say like, it's just a bench. Yeah. It's just yeah. a bench. Yeah. It's, it's just or oh, they're just reconstructing whatever. something or um, even like if a part in the street is broken, it's like, oh damn, they're reconstructing it or it's broken. It's like, oh damn, there's a new gap. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little yeah, yeah. things like that. Um, still, I find it hard to really explain myself about like that was the, awesome, exact, the exact yeah. differences. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you guys. I hope you get it. Yeah. yeah Thanks. Yeah, English is not yeah. my first language, but yeah, I did my yeah, best. Yeah, no problem. No <laughs> yeah. problem. I don't know, honestly. Thanks so much, dude. Thank you, man. Keep it up. Yep. I see why people go to skate parks a lot and film in there. It's because yeah. a lot of people are just kind of over the hassle of, um, you know, security guards, cops, and all that shit that goes along with it. But that's yeah. part of the game. And that's crazy that it's like that because there's no other sport like that, really. Yeah. But that's why people get thwarted into going into skate parks. And this just makes it somewhat easier of just when you want to skate. So I don't really hate on it really at all because all you want to do is skate so you go to the skate park. This That's makes good. it easier. Yeah. yeah. Unless last like a month ago I got a helmet ticket at the local skate park that I grew up at. And I uh, yeah. 280 bucks dude. Damn for a helmet? Yeah for a helmet. For and like all helmet. the other kids yeah. go that were like you know smoking weed and like they they were just like you know just random like kids just like whatever. Yeah. And I was the only one I didn't say one word to the cops that gave me a ticket and I was like all right, dude. Cool. So I don't know. It's it's just, <laughs> skateboarding. Just no no one can control it, dude. It's up in the air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah absolutely, man. So it's crazy. Seeing new things out in the streets and like just making something out of whatever it is that's there is kind of cool. I think that's why it's like when something's not made for skating and you're skating it, it kind of seems more pleasing to the eye for some reason. That's all our perspective. But I don't know. I mean, I grew up skating here and. It was really tight and all the ledges were just like cement and it wasn't made for skating, but now it's made for skating, which is a weird thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's kind of funny, but, wow, skateboarding is crazy, dude. I don't know. That's all, what do other people say? Uh, like I talked to So and he said street skateboarding kind of just like brought back memories of when he was like out in Holland with his homies. Yeah. And then Marquis Preston said, uh, like it just, I guess like it expands your creativity. Yeah. What you can do on different spots and I don't know, that was about it, right? I got one. Um, what do you think the skate community, like in what ways um, could the skate community abuse what we have so far? Of like just having like a public place, that's obviously like a business that's being operated and we're still able to skate. What would like the skate community have to do to ruin that? I mean, like I heard, I heard some kids went in there and did some crazy stuff already. Um, I mean, it's just, that's why skateboarders have a bad rap yeah, in yeah. the streets is because of kids, it's funny, like, yeah, if you meet people that are like pros and you know photographers that go out and do this for the living, yeah. you're not going to see them out tagging. Yeah, Most yeah. you really realistically, you're not going to see them tagging and doing things. You're going to see them going there, trying to do what they got to do and get out of there. With some kids growing up, it was new, so we're all going on the streets being nuts and it's yeah. like, oh shit, let's light the shit on fire. Yeah. Like yeah. you know, it's like it's yeah. I don't know. It's so when it comes to more of your job, you kind of don't don't do that stuff. Yeah. When you're a kid having fun, you kind of just do whatever. Do you think totally. the idea of like a code of conduct is something realistic for like the young skaters today? I mean, uh, there's like an ethic that yeah, we all use exactly. that's not really written. Skateboarding is only written in stone. Yeah. It's kind of like what's cool and what's not. Yeah. So if you're going to go do something that's fucked up for the whole skate community, you're going to be like pissed at you, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, I mean, realistically, it's just like kind of the per older people leaving examples for the younger kids, you know? And so there might be younger kids that go out and do stupid things, like you said here, and it almost ruined it for all of us to skate here every day. Yeah, yeah. And so now, and then like that happened, it'd be crazy. You know what I mean? Like there would be a little bit bad. So yeah, it's, it's the older people have set, set good examples for the younger kids, you know? Yeah. That's yep. kind of it. So it, right. I just don't want them going around to, I don't know, when they start going outside the streets and start doing crazy stuff, that's like bad. It's, but it makes it worse for skaters. Yeah. yeah. You know? So. 
like let's say you were trying to trick. I'm sorry to keep it going. No, 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 I, no, I, no, no. This is I this is one, perfect. No, I'm good, dude. I'm all psyched now. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> I thought you were gonna ask me something really random question. And I was no, like, no, oh no. yeah, sure. But like, you asked me a really great question. Thank you for doing that. Yeah. So I mean, street skating is when it comes down to it is like where the foundation of it is. I mean, there would be no skate park if it wasn't for street skateboarding. Yeah. So they they tried to create. They made a skate park so you wouldn't skate it, the streets this to ruin is, property. This is basically a recreation of everything yeah, you have on. Is, the streets which is yeah which is cool and you know it's all founded from the idea of street skating so street skating will always be at everyone's hearts yeah but if, you, if you're not trying to deal with cops even though I got a helmet ticket yeah, yeah. If you're mostly go to it and it's in Southern California usually they have that rule yeah fucking Orange County <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah dude good questions I mean skating I don't know skateboarding is crazy it's no setting rules it's all what we do. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Thanks so much. Yeah. No, we're hopefully that made sense. Yeah. yeah thank you. you. Yeah, guys. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. You guys out of here? Yeah. Yep. Nice, man. Well, nice meeting you guys. Yeah. Uh, hey, do you know like any other pros who would be down to like answer? Maybe. If you're down. All right. Later. <laughs> Yeah! Can you throw me off the grid again?